if you're 30 years old, this was like uh, Christmas for you because all the games you loved as a child are back. Um, so I'm talking about, of course, the Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games coming to Switch. Let's start with the fact that they are bringing these classic handhold, handheld consoles to the Switch. Jeffrey, I heard you ask if they'll turn off the backlight to fully replicate the Game Boy experience. Um, my question is, why do you hate the Nintendo, Nintendo Game Boy? Online. Uh, <laughs> wow, uh, kind of put it on the hot seat. You're on the record, uh, by the way. Anywhere. Yes, that is true. Uh, this is sort of, uh, this is on me. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I have so many memories of playing my Game Boy Advance uh, just in the car, in the back seat, and using the street lights to sort of light mm -hmm. the screen. Uh, never got a Game Boy Advance SP, which, of course, has the backlight built in. Uh, so imagine my joy and excitement to see uh, all these uh, green games uh, that I can play on my Nintendo oh, Switch. Uh, yeah, the, the Game Boy, the Game Boy, the fact that you could even play it in different colors, like it was like Game Boy Color, Game Boy Regular, Game Boy, like, you know, there, there's just like, yeah, like all these like kind of uh, very fun, like, it's just like the quality of life that we always hope yep. for when they make remasters and God, I'm, I'm so excited. Oh yeah. yeah, who's not excited for Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare, Brian? <laughs> I, I was about to say, a very eclectic uh, library here. I mean, there's a bunch of classics and then there's a bunch of stuff that like, they, Nintendo definitely called every company and was like, are you in? Are you coming to this party? And like a lot of people didn't call back, but then some did. Um, but I think what's awesome about this just in general is that this is at like additive value to a subscription that a bunch of us are already paying for. Yeah. You mentioned before the break, like we thought this is going to be one of those things where they they would just like hike the price and i think a bunch of us would have been like ah fine here you go <laughs> but like comparatively nintendo switch online is, is cheaper than the competitors and you're getting like you know genesis super nintendo nes n64 and now game boy game boy color game boy advance all in there and yeah. it didn't jack the price up and i'm pretty excited about that and the lineup of the future like the zelda oracle of ages and seasons games uh kirby tilt and tumble stuff like that is it's really cool to see. And like you said, like being able to play in the, the classic puke green or in black and white or with Game Boy Color colors, like I, I'm very into that. And Minish Cap. Yeah. Oh, it's very Minish Cap. Yeah, I, I, Minish Cap, it feels like such an enigma to me because it was just on the Game Boy Advance and it was such great memories of just mm -hmm. sneaking around the rafters of a restaurant as a tiny little <laughs> uh, link. And, and now we can play it. Like it's such a, it's such a joy and a rare moment when you're able to, to when you we're just getting all these games included in our you know if you're already paying for the membership like yeah it's just like it's like oh i don't have to pay or do anything like this is truly a surprise treat and yeah. it's like days like today that i'm just like wow i love video games there's yeah. some video games i was gonna add real quick there's some nice little bonuses here too like you can play some of these games online um the port of super mario all stars three super or whatever it's called super, super mario, mario advanced brothers 4 3. super mario brothers 3 yes that one Rolls um off the originally worked with this thing called the nintendo e-reader which was like this credit card oh, yeah. reader that you plugged into your GBA and you bought card packs that had levels on them and you swiped them in there. And they just quietly said that all of those levels are gonna be included in this. And that's like a bunch of basically Super Mario 3 DLC that's just gonna be yeah. on on Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. Reb, are you stoked? Are you, are you into this? This Game Boy? This is where I like eat a little bit of crow here because I have been on NBC so many times and like shamed the people who were in Nintendo Switch Online Line because I just I just was like nobody plays these games nobody does and I think I don't I the Game Boy the Game Boy stuff is cool I never expected them to put Game Boy Advance stuff on there I figured they would draw the line like very cleanly there and Game Boy Advance was too modern to be on here Game Boy Advance was my childhood like that was the system I mean I had a Game Boy Color too I didn't play as much on that Game Boy Advance though that was my thing and so seeing all these things that I played as a kid or games that I did not play as a kid but knew about and wanted to play i uh, i'm kind of losing my mind a little bit and especially the fact that golden sun is on here uh, what is that doing here how well, did this happen finally um, and, and the, the promise of more to come right like yes. i mean i know nintendo is kind of weird about what they decide to release on these extremely things extremely weird yeah. uh so i'm sure i mean the fact that we still don't have donkey kong 64 or oh, super mario on, rpg is kind of silly uh, but I am hopeful that I will see more things that I'm really excited for on these things in the future, and I, yeah. I'm probably gonna open.
open up Nintendo Super Switch online, whatever the thing, whatever that app is, for like the first time in a couple years. The Legend of Zelda. Um, you didn't <laughs> play so GoldenEye, Red? That was my, uh... <laughs> no! My, uh, Adamantly not! What do you call it? My Nintendo Online rap. Like the first two games were like the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo uh, services on that. But real quick, I'm going to go through the, the name of the Game Boy games and then we're going to get to the Game Boy bit. So we've got Tetris. Who likes Tetris? Who doesn't like Tetris? Doesn't like Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. I love how they described it like we didn't know what it was. It was yes, it was amazing. They're like, you line up blocks and make them disappear with magic. go away. It's Tetris. And they come back. Get a higher score. It's a nightmare. When it gets to the top, you lose. Uh, Super Mario Land, six Mario golden coins. Ah, uh, very good one. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Now, Brian, I believe this is your favorite game of like all time. Never played it. No, I was uh, gonna finally check it out. No, it's it's a fantastic game. Yeah, uh, Gargoyles Quest, a little bit of a, a deep cut there. I didn't expect to see Gargoyles Quest. Um, game and Watch Gallery 3. Yep. Three, number three. Number three, yep, which is, of course, uh, Game & Watch titles recreated with uh, modern hardware, as only modern hardware emulation could provide of those LCD games. Uh, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, which, okay, I guess, why not? Sure. Metroid 2, Return of Samus, very good game. Uh, Wario Land 3, Kirby's so Dream Land. So stoked for that. Yes, and, uh, and of course, the promise of more games added to the future in the future and i was pretty excited because i thought oh man that's that's just so satisfying and then they boom they hit us with the one-two punch mm -hmm. and they said oh by the way as reb was talking about earlier game boy advance games also being added the first wave super mario advance 4 super mario brothers 3 that's just one game warioware inc <laughs> Mega Micro Games. Kuru, kuru, kuru. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I don't speak Where's Japanese. Where's Pear Schneider? Where's Pear? One. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, that's such a great game. Oh, I used to play that when I. Stick, anyway. The rotating. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the rotating stick game. <laughs> kuru, kuru, kuru. <laughs> kuru, kuru, kuru. Just play WarioWare. WarioWare is better. It's a classic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, a wonderful Mario Kart yes. game. Mm -hmm. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. And of course, the promise of more games in the future. And these are also all available like right now if you have the Nintendo Online Expansion Pass, which before now was only really good so you could play like Ocarina of Time and Pilot Wings. Or maybe that's just me I'm just playing Pilot Wings all the time. Yeah, it's just me. So, um, Jeffrey, what Game Boy Advance games are you excited about today? What are you looking forward to? What are you hopeful? I am so glad you asked, Seth. Uh, I just want to tell everybody right now that every day when I clock into work at IGN, I listen to ambient music when I work, and the ambient music of choice is always the original soundtrack to Sonic Advance. All right, Ooh. chat, I need you to blow up Sonic mm -hmm. Advance, Sonic Advance 2 and 3. Uh, honest, honest to God, don't leave the live stream right now, but Google Angel Hill yes, later. Stick with us. You'll Stick thank me. Yeah, <laughs> you'll thank me. Uh, Sonic Advance, uh, first of all, uh, I've been I've been very vocal about this on Twitter and everything. Nintendo Switch is my favorite console of all time. And so the Game Boy Advance was my first ever handheld. So it feels like a natural kind of like, it's like a return to form for me personally. I know a lot of people obviously have different first consoles and handhelds. But Sonic Advance, like, made me love video games. It, it got me into the Sonic franchise. You know, it came out right when the, you know, the, the GameCube came out, uh, uh, which is crazy to think. And, mm. the, and the fact that, like, the Nintendo Switch Expansion Pass has the Sega Genesis app, I'm very yeah. hopeful for Sonic Advance. I mean, we, we have Golden Sun, we have all these other, like, kind of, like, random games. Like, if Sonic, if I can play Sonic Advance legally, which is how I play every single game. Of course, odds. I do. There's no other way to do it. But I will not without play going Sonic to Advance. jail. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm not. Yeah. Video uh, game jail. Oh, boy. Um, if I can play Sonic Advance on my Switch, I mean, like, there's so many great Sonic games on Switch. You have Sonic Mania, you have all these great, uh, you know, and, like, it's just, the oh, thank you, Red, for showing Sonic Advance footage on the stream. I... I can hear this video. I can hear it. And I will lose my mind. Uh, I love Sonic is one of my favorite franchises ever. Uh, I know that's not controversial at all. And uh, I yeah, I will play I will I will ask Nintendo to charge me more for the expansion pass if they bring Sonic. Oh yeah. That's yeah. A Old movie. Why do you keep cursing us? Why is your role today to lay a curse at our feet? 
Uh, I, I'm famously rich, you know, I'm the Monopoly man here, uh, and I'm fine to pay more. Uh, no, but yeah, but thank you. Uh, God, I'm so, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, Sonic Advance to the Game Boy Advance, but in the meantime, I will be playing Minish Cap, 100%. Excellent. Reb, what's, uh, what's on your docket first in the Game Boy Advance? Since Golden Sun, we don't know. It won't, when yeah, it won't be there yet. Uh, super Boy. stoked about Superstar Saga. That's a game I played part of, but have not finished, and I would love to actually give that a shot. Uh, super excited about Wario Land 3, specifically because I'm a huge Wario Land 4 stan, and I never got to play Wario Land 3, and it is more Wario Land, which is all I want in the world, so I am I am probably going to pick up and play Wario Land 3 first and hope that they bring Wario Land 4 in the future. Um, and also Super Circuit, that was my very first Mario Kart game that very good I one. played, game and I'm very, very familiar with it, and I've probably gotten horribly rusty at it in the intermediate years. Oh, you'll be fine. It's like riding a bicycle that has banana peels that shoot out the back of it. But um, one of the cool things that they also mentioned was that you can play online with like up to four people, you know, depending on the game. But you can also play locally just, you know, with your friends, which I think is awesome because I didn't know anybody with a link cable. And if they did have a link cable, it was covered in like dog fur and, it was, and peanut butter. And it was really gross, you know, kid, kid stuff like that. Um, Brian. Are you going to be playing with up to four of your friends, or excuse me, up to three of your friends? Are you excited about uh, playing these games? No, I don't want to play with these games with anybody. I want to play these games alone. It hunched over my Switch like I did with my Game Boy and Game Boy Advance during my my darkest childhood years. I think it's going to be great. It's super exciting and fun stuff, you guys. No, um, WarioWare is one of my favorite games ever made. I hope all of you try it. It's super, super good. It's probably the best warrior War game and it's the they got it right right out the gate um okay. the new levels are the the levels i never got to play the e-reader levels in mario 3 are awesome minish cap like jeffrey said um but also like this opens the doors for uh metroid zero mission and metroid yeah Fusion, which are yep. phenomenal phenomenal games and i think they'll head their way that way uh soon we got a bunch of game boy and game boy color games on the 3ds like kind of quietly and only a handful of gba games and they were only if you bought the 3ds early right and before they dropped the price and then they apologized to you and sent you like a little certificate picture you could look at mm -hmm. and then a handful of games you could play and that was i think the last time i had minish cap in playable form legally on a nintendo system so yeah bring bring that bring that back i'm very excited for that can i uh can i make a confession right here yeah. and right now in front of all of you my friends my new friend maybe um, Safe space. The How first, the we might judge you. <laughs> the first, the first wave of these, the first wave of these Game Boy Advance games, I have played none of them, with the exception of Mario Kart um, Super Circuit. So. Every Thursday, we get together to talk about all things Nintendo, from the latest releases to hidden gems. We've got you covered, but beware, things can get a little wild in the NVC studio. Don't miss out on the chaos. Tune in every Thursday and be part of the NVC family. Mm, it's the only place where you can